this way, this way. We're on our way to a bunch of exhibition battles, and the main event is a borough battle. Basically, they're having Manhattan in the Bronx versus Queens and Brooklyn. New York's been dead. It's been quiet. There's nothing been going on. You know, the pandemic kind of fucked it up. It's a great opportunity for us to let loose, dance with people we've never danced with before, battle people we've never battled against before. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're representing our borough. You know, that's a big thing in hip hop. You got to represent who you are. So, Tell I'm excited. <laughs> What's up? Why are you not battling then? Yo, you over here. I'm on the camera today. Ah. Uh... <laughs> grateful that I'm part of this and part of a lot of things that I had to, to bring New York back. New York City is number one. We started this, came from here, we're still doing it. We were planting the seeds and are now considered the foundation of a global culture. We were just young people having a good time being rebellious. For a lot of people, it was a very first time ever seeing people dancing and spinning around on their heads and all kind of crazy stuff and blew people away. They just never seen it. It got on the news, it got all over. It just exploded for all of us. Got it? So we would come in through this way. That was the gym. So if you came in through that door, but it had a divider. One DJ would be on one side, let's say Africa Bambata. The other side might be Mario. And it's like two parties going on at the same time. And then at the end of the night, they'd open up the divider and it's one DJ in there rocking the whole gym. Home of hip hop, that's a fact. That's a fact, this is where we used to come. The person who put it on the map, the style that eventually came to be named hip hop, is Cool Herc. Because Herc played certain records specifically for the B-Boys. This culture was small, it was a neighborhood thing. But we were the first celebrities of it, the DJs, the B-Boys, people came to the parties to see us rock, to hear her play the joints, Bambada, Mario, you know, and to see us, we would show stoppers. Back then, there was just a lot of oppression from many different forms. We needed something to express ourselves instead of yelling and screaming and fighting all the time. So we just came up, we started dancing and letting people know that, you know, yeah, we matter. My name is Victor Glide Alisea. Glide is a, a given name to me by my crew. I've been uh, b-boying, but I started in 77. I took the crew to a certain place and then I passed it on to this kid who has done amazing things and I'm very proud of. This walk I take almost every day, going to my studio. You know what I want. Coffee, son. <laughs> my man. Thank you, fam. All right, no problem, man. My dad was, when he started, he was 11. When he got to start traveling around the world at 15, 16, with the chaperone, right? Because he's young. He went to Germany. He went to all kind of places. They planted the seeds of this culture. Can I get an egg and cheese with turkey bacon on a roll? This dance was created by the African-American community, but later on, the Puerto Ricans, they added to the dance, you know, the Latin flavor. But ever since we got involved, we never left. Everything that I have in my life is because of this dance and because of hip hop. So for me, it's very important to work with the youth because I can never give back to hip hop what it gave to me. I'm handing down the gems, the knowledge, my experience, my skills to everybody else 
that's going to take it to the next level. So there you go, boom, sit down, sit, sit on the wall, bam. Now try to bring your feet to your face. Now try to bring your head through it. Oh snap, we got an up, upcoming B girl outside doing some crazy freezes. It's a youth oriented culture, it will always be. That's the reason hip hop survived where disco didn't. There will always be youth because somebody's always gonna be born. It was a dance created by the youth and to this day it's continuing to touch different people and they get to add to it. Good job. Come on, everybody. Great. Mm. You guys are doing great. Let's work on some stuff you guys want to work on. Let us know what you want to learn. Put your hands in. Ready? Count of three. We're going to say dynamic. Ready? One, two, three. Dynamic. My name is uh, Ives Bure. People know me as Icy Ives. I am 26 years old and I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. And I'm a b-boy. Two-time national breakdance champion, Anchorage's own Ives Bure. Alaska's artists, they shine in many ways. Yo, today's the day, Saturday morning. Been excited for this day. We're on the way to the workshops right now at the Underground Dance Company. Obviously, we don't get much sunlight. The sunlight goes down at like 4 p.m. It stays dark all morning too until like probably, I wanna say 10. I have been dancing for 15 years now. The beauty of Alaska is uh, really nice and it's made me the person I am today because we're isolated. We don't have much opportunities here. We kind of have to make our own opportunities. So in a sense, that kind of helped me be this community leader for our scene. As a dancer, I think freestyling is an aspect of dance that we should all touch or explore. In Anchorage, Alaska, hip hop has really given a lot of young people hope and an opportunity to, to imagine and to create. A mess up can turn into something beautiful, right? Like, if I turn like this, like, I get into it. Like, that was the mess up. There are really great challenges with young people and mental health, the darkness, the social isolation. We have double the national average of really bad things up here. And in this community, hip hop helps a lot of young people through the darkness. Stereotypical b-boy life is basically just being broke and going couch to couch, surfing, going jam hopping and living your paycheck by hopefully winning the next jam, you know? <laughs> and for me, I actually lived that lifestyle before and it's not a lifestyle that I would want 
any of the younger generations who ever go through. I don't uh, even understand what uh, what what's that kind of dancing was, you know. I don't know. Uh, maybe they are uh, they are just a gang like that, you know. I cannot believe that he can do that. Sats. Mm -hmm. His very first out of state battle, my parents were like, "No, you're not traveling by yourself. You were what, four, fifth, 16 at the time." So he talked to me, and I'm like, "Okay, I'll." I'll go with you. So me and her went. I supported him when, when I saw him that uh, he had uh, like a, a cause or uh, he got, he's not just wait, wasting his time, you know? Because uh, he met uh, a lot of people, like mentoring them into dancing, into arts, you know? So I'm proud, I'm proud of him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Almost, almost, almost. Keep going. Yeah! Alaska problems. Yo, yo, we out here. We're about to be on the Daybreak Morning Show, Anchorage, Alaska. I'm actually going to give uh, some of my students an opportunity to be on live TV today, so this will be a good opportunity for them. When I first met Ives, I asked Ives, why do you do this? What's your motivation? And I've never heard Ives say anything outside of the culture. This authentic element of saying, like, I've recognized the culture and my place in it. Like, you're looking for the, the, the skill, you're looking for the element. And yeah, competitive, Battling, that's culture. That's definitively culture. What happens at the end of a battle? Love. You give dap and you, you embrace. It inspires me to give back to Alaska 10 times. I've seized the, the value of hip hop at the core. So yeah, he's gonna, he gonna practice it really good. He's gonna work hard and discipline, but he wants to bring people along into the values. How you can build your community and inspire others. How he translates that is through b-boying. Without you, man, I wouldn't be receiving this today, so I appreciate you. Brother, you did the work. I just put my part in. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> My initial thoughts when I heard breaking was gonna be in the Olympics, obviously I was really just happy because to see breaking evolve from a street dance, now it's like gonna be looked at worldwide in front of people that don't even know about breaking. And it's only the beginning too, and I'm glad that I'm here during this era to hopefully represent while I'm still young. <laughs> 